GM and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are taking a look at Jupiter Exchange with their DCA function, which stands for dollar cost average. So this is an exchange on the Solana network that allows you to all on-chain average into coins. So what does that mean? How does it work? Well, I'm gonna show you everything in this video. So without further ado, let's jump in. So first and foremost, what is dollar cost averaging? Well, we go to Investopedia here. Their basic summation is dollar cost averaging involves investing the same amount of money into a target security, in this case here, cryptocurrency, at regular intervals over a certain period of time, regardless of the price. So this allows you to get an average price across the time frame that you select. Now in crypto land here, I'm doing this mainly for smaller altcoins like meme coins, things with small market caps that you can actually impact the price upon if you put in a decent size of funds. So if you put like a thousand bucks into certain coins, you can actually move the market price on them. And maybe you want to minimize the impact of doing that, or maybe you have some uncertainty around the price point. And so you want to get an average over a longer duration of time. Those are the two main reasons I typically actually use this DCA function. And I think it is a fantastic function to get to use. So here we are on the Jupiter Exchange, I'll link for this down below. And as you can see, currently we're on swap. So the two assets I'm going to swap from and into are on screen here. I'm going to go from Solana, the network token of the Solana blockchain. And I want to actually get some hero network tokens here. But I do not want to put my full target amount of 10 Solana in, in one chunk. I want to actually DCA this over a 24 hour period because I'm not sure if the price of Hero is going to maybe come down a little bit. It's been quite choppy as of late. So that's my kind of rationale for why I want to use a DCA. And as it says at the top here, set and forget. So let's just click onto that. So we are on the DCA setting. Let's just scroll down a tiny bit. So first top tip here is to actually ensure you've 100% got the correct coin you wish to add to. So in this case, it's Hero. If I just type in Hero, there is only one that pops up. But if you are trading maybe meme coins or certain coins do have the same names with others, some may be more like scammy coins, I wanna make doubly sure that this is the correct token. So what I would do is go to CoinGecko. And as you can see from CoinGecko, on the left-hand side, if you just come down, we have contract. So this is the contract data for Hero. If I press the menu button here, you can see these various chains it's on. And you can see from this one with the logo of Solana down there, this is the Solana contract. So I'm gonna just click the copy button and then pop back over here and then insert that control and V. So the contract address is in the search bar on Jupiter and it's coming up with the exact same token. So I know I'm good, I've double checked. That's the hero network that I want to own. So the first thing to do here is to dictate how much are you willing to allocate. So this is the full amount that you are gonna be trading of token A into token B. So in this case here, I am gonna be trading 10 Solana into Hero Network token. So the process here will take those 10 Solana and deposit them into the smart contract for this DCA process. Now the next step for you is to decide how frequent do you wish to do this? So you can do the math in your heads, maybe write it down on a piece of paper, decide upon the calculation that you're happy with. So in this circumstance here, I want to DCA in over a 24 hour period. So I want to every one hour over 24 orders. So this will mean it will split my full amount here of 10 sol into 24 orders and deploy it once each and every hour. And this makes sense. If we just go down a little bit further, you can see selling 10 sol, 10 sol divided by 24 is 0 0.4166 recurring. I will receive Hero at that given market price at the time of each of those swaps. The start time will be immediate, so it's gonna do this straight away, and it will end this time tomorrow. So it says, estimated price impact per order is currently estimated at 0%, and the fee for using this dollar cost average tool is 0.1%. So if I'm happy with that, I'm logged into my wallet, I can press Start DCA. So from here, you can see it's going to take my sol plus a small fee of 0.1% and deduct that from my balance. 
and it will start up that smart contract to actually deploy funds as we've just seen. So all you have to do then is press confirm and wait for the confirmation on chain here in the bottom left hand corner. And here you go, this has created said order. So now if we scroll down a little bit further, you can see active DCA and we can open this up. And from here, you can see the current ongoing order we have our 10 sol into hero over these next 23 hours it will be doing this first transaction now any moment and it will give us an update of the orders as they come through so let's just give this about 60 seconds to start up and i'll refresh the page so we're back less than 30 seconds later and you can see we have an update so here we have the bar which will fill out with blue as we complete the full history of transactions you can see that's now got a bit of blue on there and we can see from here as well orders one from the overview tab as well we can see our balance has decreased for sol and increased for hero so we've reduced down by 0.416 sol and we've now acquired 871 hero tokens so therefore we've had our first of 24 transactions go through you click on orders and you can see that in a different layout and you've also got a link direct to the block explorer to see it as this is fully on chain so very simple intuitive easy to use if you do want to cancel however you can do so by pressing close and withdraw and it will cancel from the point at which you're at so you can't undo what has already been done this is blockchain this is immutable the transactions have been processed but if i do not want the remaining 23 orders to go through i can click on close and withdraw and it will ask me to confirm that in my wallet and i'll get my 9.59 sol back and I'll have those 871 hero in my wallet as well. So if you did want to cancel, you press confirm there, but I want to continue with my DCA strategy. So I'm not going to do that. Then if we just look inside this phantom wallet here, you can see the tokens appear just under 0.1 of a soul left in my balance. And then that 871 hero, that first dollar cost average out of 24 has now come into my wallet. As simple as that. So if you found this video helpful, maybe you'll want to check out the one you can see on screen here a bit of a deeper dive across all the different aspects of Jupiter Exchange. But I'll leave you with that one, folks. Have a good one. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.